Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Karim wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Continuing on in our discussion of tawbah of returning to Allah of repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the previous sitting we talked about the conditions for tawbah the conditions for repentance and we mentioned that the scholars of Islam have mentioned that tawbah repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is an obligation for the sins that we commit and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins ameen ya rabbil alamin and we already mentioned the conditions of tawbah the three primary conditions the first being that a person uh, feels or that an individual uh, stops the actions or stops the sin that they are committing. And the second condition is that the individual regrets the action that they have committed, the infraction against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sin that they've committed. And the third condition is that the individual resolves never to return to that action. So again, that the person stops the sin, that they feel sorry for the sin, for their sinfulness, and that they resolve to never return to that sin. And we also mentioned that if the action or infraction or the sin involves another human being, meaning the rights of others, for example, through stealing or backbiting, slandering someone, uh, taking their rights, oppressing them, then you must seek forgiveness from that person or you must return their right. If you took their land, you took their property, then you must return their right or their property, whatever it is that you have uh, taken. And that, all of those things, make up the conditions for toba. They make up the con the shurut or conditions for repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that, diff that makes us different than the other religions and other faiths. Whereas, for example, in the Catholic and generally most of the Christian faiths and so forth, they only require that you feel sor sorrow for what you did. That you feel sorry for what you did and and that will be sufficient or the catholics actually require that you go before a priest and that you confess your sins so the fact that you admit your sins and you feel sorrow this is sufficient and they also use an intercessor that you repent this infraction to the priest and he's the one who gives you forgiveness but in fact islam rejects this in totality it is not required of you to go to the imam. It is not required of you to go to the congregation. It is not required to you to go to anyone or supplicate to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, or to Jesus وسلم, or Moses or Ibrahim or any of the Prophets وسلم, but rather your relationship is with your Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what you've done and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive you of your sins and you don't need to go to anyone else. So this is how Islamic repentance differs with many of the other faiths. And as we mentioned, those three and four conditions, if it requires the rights of another individual. Allah Taala mentions regarding Tawbah, regarding making repentance, to him subhanahu wa ta'ala qala tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem wa tubu ila allahi jami'an ayyuha al-mu'minun la'allakum tuflihun Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran he says O oh, you believers let all of you seek repentance from Allah perhaps you will attain success Letting us know here in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this ayah, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has linked success with repentance to Allah. That you're directing your toba, directing your repentance, sincerity, with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord, tabarak wa ta'ala. 
So success lies with your repentance, with your feeling sor sorrow for what you did, with your determination not to return to that sin, and with your stopping and freeing yourself from that sin. That's what true success, that's the path to success. Success is not accumulating wealth and it's not just uh, continuing on in sin just because you haven't been caught. You know, oh man, I just stole this. Look at what I got, This nice, these nice items I have and nobody caught me. No, that's not your success. That is something temporary in this life which you will pay back in the hereafter. But Toba, the success for the believers comes through repenting to Allah. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala linked success with belief and repentance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, fi kitabi al karim when istaghfiru rabbukum thumma tubu ilayh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Seek forgiveness from your Lord. Thereafter, turn towards Him in repentance. Allahu Akbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Seek forgiveness from your Lord. So Allah first orders us with istighfar, forgiveness, seeking forgiveness. And as is implicit, is that you're seeking forgiveness. This is something you are you're you're asking for, you're pleading from from who? From your Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, When istaghfiru rabbukum. So if you seek forgiveness from your Lord, thumma tubu ilay, then repent to him. Then come back with sincere repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala linked istighfar with tawbah, that seeking forgiveness from Allah and also repentance. And repentance, as we mentioned, it requires things from us. It requires leaving it, leaving those actions. And it requires the determination not to return to those sins. And it requires uh, stopping those actions, those sins, and feeling sorrow for it. That's what Islamic repentance requ requires. Those are the conditions as the ulama, the scholars of Islam, as they mention. And that's what we have to strive to gain. To bil Allah. Allah, the Almighty, mentions also in the Quran, Qala subhana, Ya yuwa amanu, tubu bil Allahi, tawbatin nusuha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem O you who believe, turn towards Allah with sincere repentance. So, as was implicit in those conditions that we mentioned regarding toba before, is it requires sincerity. Toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires sincerity. It requires that we're sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we're seeking his forgiveness and his grace and his mercy and his favor. That that's what we're, we're, we're seeking from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with his, his mercy and his favor and bless us to come closer to him and be of the tawabin. This is how the Salaf understood Toba. And Toba linguistically is has the meaning in the Arabic language meaning whoever sought repentance and renounces a certain matter meaning that they hence they have returned from a certain action and as an Islamic term it means the act of returning from the disobedience of Allah the most high to his obedience so leaving disobedience coming to obedience. And the most important, the most severe sin is kufr, is disbelief and shirk. 
And it is an obligation on mankind to leave kufr, disbelief, and come to iman. To leave disbelief and come to iman. Come to faith. From disbelief to, to faith. And that is uh, imperative for all of mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قُلِّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنْ يَنْهُ يَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ مَا قَدْ سَلَفْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتاب الكريم Allah ordered the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to address the disbelievers, those pagan Arabs of his time, and any of those who disbelieved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the Prophet to say, he said, say to those who disbelieve, if they discontinue in their disbelief, their past shall be forgiven. Letting us know Toba wipes out the major sins and it wipes out everything that preceded it. If you make Toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making Toba from shirk and Toba from kufr is the greatest Toba because you have removed yourself from that which guaranteed you to, to enter the hellfire forever back into the ranks of Iman, of faith. And that lets us know another important aspect is that if you want, if you have fallen into any of the major sins, whether it be adultery, fornication, stealing, uh, lying, oppressing people, uh, whatever, and, and it's shirk being first and foremost, the most severe, homosexuality, whatever it is, those major sins can only be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by tawbah, by repenting, by following the steps we mentioned, by leaving that sin, by, uh, <clears throat> by feeling sorrow for what you did and being determined not to follow, follow back into that sin. That's what wipes that out. Those major sins. It isn't simply enough just to feel sorrow. That's not going to free you from the sin. And that doesn't show sincerity to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, as is mentioned in this ayat, this matter is followed by the obligation to seek repentance from the major categories of, of, of sins, the kaba'ir. And then it requires that a person seeks uh, forgiveness, repentance for the minor forms of misdeeds. So this also, this requires that we, 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 may, we seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the major and the minor sins. And we make toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the major and minor sins. But toba is the only way to remove those major sins. Whereas the minor sins, there are many deeds that we can do to erase those sins. For example, fasting, giving charity, making wudu, making uh, ablution for prayer, making the prayer, jumwa ila jumwa wa ramadan ila ramadan, kafaratun lima bainahuma, that the jumwa prayer to the, to the, to the next jumwa, from jumwa to jumwa, the fact that you attended jumwa, with the sincerity to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and listen to the khutbah and gain benefit for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all your minor sins from the last Jumu'ah. Allahu Akbar. And Ramadan, the, fast, the fact that you fasted last Ramadan and now you're fasting this Ramadan, up to this Ramadan, once we finish it, this will forgive all the minor sins that you committed if you did it according to... You did it with sincerity to Allah and you did it in accordance with the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So then you'll get the, the, the mercy from you and you'll get the, the, the benefit and the favor and the, remo the 
forgiveness from Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And that's what the, the believer aims to gain. That's what the believer strives to get, is forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, by all of his divine names and attributes, to please forgive us and please bless us with Jannah Tafardos and bless our families with forgiveness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our qiyam and layl. And may Allah wa ta'ala bless the Muslims and have mercy upon the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the non-Muslims to Islam. Because Islam is not a unique club. But Islam is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's established for us to practice on the earth. And he's the only religion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts. And it's the only path to get to paradise. So we ask that Allah, the Almighty, accepts our good and forgives our evil and guides us all to submit to Him. Istislam lillah bitawheed wal inqiyad luhu bita'ati wa khulus min shirk wa ahli. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.